I'm here with a couple of the new bomb Turks, Matt and Eric. So uh, uh, that was pretty explosive performance there. You think so? Yes, it was. Thank you, darling. It's very nice to be here. <laughs> uh, but I, I heard last night you had to cancel your Hamilton show. You were sick. What, yeah. what happened to you? Um, knee injury. Knee? I'm going to start wearing oh. pads on my knees because uh, the kids get pretty crazy at our shows. So, no, I get a real bad sore throat and uh, didn't want to give the kids half of a show. I wanted to give them all of a show. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be relegated to playing, playing a tambourine or something. Yeah, I do that sometimes, though. I don't consider that a relegation. Is that a word? Yeah, relegation. Okay. So long but as you... Let's not blow that story out of proportion. Basically, I was sick a little bit. And... Yeah, there's no no uh, up checking or. I don't really want to go into those kind of details. I mean, it would be. That was a rumor. It was, it was, it was, there was a rumor happening. Oh really? Around. Yeah, yeah. Just wanted to see what 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 exactly why why you were so ill. Um, the way the speediness by which you play is it true that it's because your drummer. Bill, he, whenever he got drunk, he'd play really, really fast? Is that yeah, right? actually. Well, on the first record, it, it was that way. It was actually because we all got really drunk. So it was like yeah. fast enough as you were playing? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, like you loosen up a little bit. And, you know, I, I don't want to advocate, you know, drinking all the time while playing. But, right. Um, Maybe not all the time. I don't know. Like, I mean, that's, he plays fast because... I mean, there's certain songs we, we deem the tempo to be that fast. So. Mm -hmm. He sort of explains it, too, that he learned how to play drums by listening to Black Flag records, and he put them on his headphones, put Black Flag on his headphones, and he'd play along to it, and he would have to keep up to the tempo. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, that's where he got that from, I guess. Are you ever tempted to play, like, a ballad? We, we have a couple ballads. We have a few ballads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, do, do, we do an Otis Redding cover. We do another song that may as well be an Otis Redding cover. Yeah. We do a sort of a 50s doo wop kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do we have? Three, three uh, Mariah Carey songs in the song. Yeah. Wow. So that's yeah. pretty good, you right? Probably hit yeah. those high notes. Yeah. Notice he you do a lot of like, can. yeah. Yeah, I have yeah. like 13, 14 octaves, something like that. I forget. I don't use them all. It'd be it'd scare the kids. You want to keep them, you know. Scared straight. Are you scared straight? And what made you scared straight? Um, I never I answered know. those kind of yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't scared. Are you a straight edge fan? No, not at all. <laughs> no. Um, nope. No. Scoot the. The title comes from the, the TV show that was about, uh, like, like prison. You know, they take kids to prison and and scare them, you know, into not being bad kids by by letting prisoners talk to them and like, you know, saying that they they'd be, uh, you know, raped in prison and stuff like that. So that's how we think of ourselves as those. The prisoners or the yeah, children? Yeah, uh, neither really. Yeah, sort of in the middle somewhere. <laughs> we're a bit like weathered prisoners, but we never actually went to jail or anything. But we're not like kids anymore per se. So we're somewhere in the middle there. Mm. So that's how we think of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if the optimi okay, I say uh, uh, r driving through the desert is uh -huh. great to listening to Sonic Youth or uh -huh. going to a mall drinking a Slurpee. Great when you're listening to the residents. Right. So what really? is? Isn't yeah. It? Oh, really? Nice. I should try. Most I've never done that. That's funny because I thought you were like going to say like Spice Girls or something. Oh. I was like <laughs> residents. <laughs> Preferably not like a high-end mall. But uh -huh. like I don't know, like yeah. an army and navy or something. Uh -huh. like that. Okay. But so, what is the optimum act? What's the what's a good activity to listen to the new bomb Turks and do? Um, making out. Yeah, making out. Is it making out music? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Try it sometime <laughs> with a Slurpee. It's though. fast. You gotta have a Slurpee. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's for good for robbing a bank. You know, that's fast yeah, too. too. But um, yeah, it's good. For, uh, watching Dennis Hopper movies, um, mm -hmm. turn down sound and just listen to our record. Um, I don't know, drinking Slurpees and walking through the mall. I don't know. Okay, so but but first reaction, making out. Well, okay, so you no, have to that try it out. Yeah, have you ever done that? Do you ever like listen to your own music no. and make out? No. <laughs> that would be a Come weird on, ego no. thing, wouldn't it? Be no, like, no, I must see. Wait a Let's minute, honey. Yeah. I like this part in yeah. the song. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. That would be pretty weird. Yeah. It would try be. That Does it freak you out like walking into parties and people are listening to your music? If it happened, yeah. It's never happened to you before? No, it happens sometimes, I guess. Really? To go turn it up or turn, turn, take it well, up? Well, usually there's like five guys at a party like that, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, five guys yeah. sitting in big yeah, party. Yeah, like the you know, sausage party. Up. Sausage party like that, but... Mm -hmm. But, um... No, I... Yeah, that's happened to me before, and I, I do feel a little strange, you know, but like... And sometimes I try to go over and like bump the stereo or something because you just feel kind of yeah. weird about it. Sure. And then you realize, boy, this stuff's really rocking. I'm going to get me a Slurpee and I'm going to have fun. Uh -huh. And that's what happens. <laughs> is, is this your first Epitaph album? Yes, yes, it is. So it's home to a lot of bands, Rancid, No Effects, Pennywise, lots of stuff. Do yeah. you feel, what are the similarities and what are the differences between, say, uh, a lot of the bands on the roster? Uh, they all have fast drummers. Yeah. And uh, they all basically are just punk bands or considered punk bands or rock bands. We're probably a little bit more. Punk band? No. 
Well, like, I mean, we have we have all kinds of influences. I guess when we play fast and live and it's crazy and that it's pretty much punk rock, but not really what I think most people think of as punk rock. Yeah, you got that Jerry, Jerry. And we're not Lewis. punks, really, you know? Like, we don't have mohawks, obviously. But, I yeah. mean, yeah. we're just, I don't know. We're, we're, not we're more of a rock and roll band, I think. You're yeah. sort of a bit retro, guys, like the 50s thing. Well, I don't know. I like everything's things everything's retro. Car. Even techno's retro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. It's yeah. some of the techno sounding in the lot. I mean, I'd like to think we have our own sound that's kind of updated. I don't think we sound exactly like some old band, you know? I don't, I don't want to sound exactly like the Dead Kennedys okay. or something. Okay, like Warney. Uh, um, uh, so, but you have that sort of, uh, like that 50s style. Yeah, you, well, have you always had, the, you've got the piano there in one of the songs. And that must, that's not one of the guys in the band, but that's a, like a yeah, secondary a or a guest player. He yeah. can really play fast. Yeah. yeah. Is he usually, yeah, does he usually play rock and roll or? He plays everything. He has a, a steel drum band and he, he's like the local jack of all trades musician yeah. in Columbus, Ohio. So. He's a great guy. Derek really DeSanto. Yeah. Cool. He played in Pansy Division. And uh, for a little bit, a couple other bands. And he played the with the Wigs. Afghan Wigs. Mm -hmm. Like played keyboards for them. Right. But yeah, we like to bring in all kinds of different mm -hmm. stuff. You know, I just don't want to keep playing the same kind of music over and for over. For sure, forever, it's gotta, you, know? you gotta keep it fresh for yourself. We're seeing one of these deals. Yeah. yeah okay. You know what that okay. Means. Last thing is the hand in yeah. the video and on the on the cover. Uh -huh. What is that big red hand? Is that like the hand of death or it's what? The specter what is that? of death. Hey man, you know that's not for me to tell you. You have to figure that out for your lonesome. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, let's take a look at your video. But it is my hand, actually. And this is your red ah. hand. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, it is. You're going to be playing uh, tomorrow night at the Opera House in Toronto? Tomorrow at the Opera House in Toronto. So. More dates in Canada, so check yeah. your listings Montreal, right now. Montreal, Ottawa, Quebec City. We love coming up here. Canada's a gas. Right on. Okay, yeah. here's a new bomb, Turks, hammerless nail. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Thanks Don't open much. it in here.